Lava Loon is once again number one in the world, my friends. This time it is Dominic using this Lava Loon Guards deck and hitting 3,600 medals with it. Pretty impressive. I'm going to show you exactly how to play this deck today. It's one of my favorite variants, and I'm definitely warming up to playing the Guards instead of the Tombstone. And, you know, the big reason that people are using more Guards is because of their recent buff, meaning they don't tie to arrows, and because Graveyard is absolutely everywhere in the meta, and they're a pretty good counter against Graveyard at least they're better than uh, the tombstone as far as graveyard countering goes and speaking of graveyard we've got Oxlit first game he's playing splash yard so we're gonna hopefully have a better chance of winning this when we have the guards instead of the tombstone just because graveyard is a tough deck especially when they're running the little prince so oh speak of the devil <laughs> speak of the devil we're gonna go lob in the back here um i think this is a good play just because we're going to try and basically i don't know kill the baby dragon with the tower and then we can use something like the ooh very interesting play there um i was expecting him to just wait until i used guards um Maybe he thought I had Tombstone, I'm not sure. But yeah, I was um, pretty happy with this, actually. I was not expecting an ability there. I thought he was going to try an ability late on the tower, but I don't know if he tried to predict me or something. But we'll go up a little measly 400, 500 damage early on in the game. This matchup gets very scary very quickly. Um, the main thing is always... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't, I don't like the... I don't like that. I don't like that. I think we got that Mega Minion down before he graveyarded, though. So that was good. I don't even know if he wanted to graveyard, but I see a baby dragon at the at the bridge, and I uh, I would think he's going in with graveyard, but... At least we have, um, we have a good chance to go lava because his baby dragon is out of cycle. Um, ooh, I might just take that. I'm not going to zap yet because I don't have enough elixir. Okay, now I will zap after I go barbs because um, I think I want to be careful always making sure I have a graveyard counter ready. I'd rather use the barbs than the guards, but the guards are also a very solid counter as well. Uh, and I'm also going to be um, paying attention to his Evo Knights. Now, this Evo Knight looks like it's going to take a beating from our barbarians, but that's the scariest part is we always want to have one of the air cards ready for the Evo Knight. And here... Ooh, that's 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 uh, very fortunate that the Evo Knight wasn't moving, so that the Fireball did a ton of damage to him. But yeah, here we're gonna try and predict a graveyard because he's probably gonna go in with the yep the Guardian there, and he poisons. So we're gonna zap to get rid of three card cycle Mega Minion to um, defend this Guardian, so it doesn't get any hits. And now we're gonna punish with Skelly Drags because he did use his poison. So the goal here is to get um, a partial amount of damage back that he did with that graveyard. Since he doesn't have poison, that's why we're going in right now, because he decided to use it on offense. That's one of the things you got to be careful about, though. Um, ooh, I, was, I thought that Skelly Drag was going to get a hit. If you see that the um, Little Prince is down and he uses poison, you've got to be careful about doing what I did, because three-card cycle means that he might get back to a poison faster than you think he's going to get back to one. But as you can see, we really punished him hard for that uh, beautiful poison on offense. <laughs> I mean, beautiful for me. It wasn't a very good poison for him. But um, we can go just chill, I guess. We can maybe... I don't really know. I mean, we could just wait for him to do something here, I guess. We both have 10 elixir. I'm actually just going to barbarian to the back. No reason not to. Um, we're going to fireball zap. If he decides to graveyard, we have the guards. So, I mean, that's fine. That's why the guards, the guards are, you know, five minutes into the video or however many minutes we're in. We're already showing off the power of the guards and why you should use them. Although, if you do feel more comfortable using the tombstone, go ahead and use it. Um, unless you're really pushing like top ladder, it's not going to matter too much. Uh, we're going to fire. Oh, oh, okay. That's okay. 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 Calm down. Calm down. We have to zap here. Oh, okay. Barbarians do stop this temporarily, but the little prince is still alive. So he has another graveyard. It's a three card cycle. This is great. Um, this is what happens when you fat finger. My thumb is like a third of the size of my screen, so please forgive me. We're going to balloon instead of lavaing here because lava is too expensive. He can just ignore that and go tombstone. With the with the balloon, he has to actively nato it or try and do something here because it's going to get to the tower unless he tornadoes. So now, as you can see, since he had the tornado, he didn't have enough to graveyard. So that means that we're probably going to be able to just fireball his tower and uh, win. I'm just going to be a little bit careful. I don't know that Megan. I don't think that Mega Mini was needed, but um, 
Whew, I think that's like one or two skeleton hits and we would have lost the game. So <laughs> that is a big, big win versus Oxlade first game in. All right, we've got Aimbot 3.0 from Vietnam. Number one, let's see what he's running. Hopefully he plays first so that we can just react to him and have a good time. Yep, I don't like matches where I have to make the first play because sometimes if I have to make the first play, it goes very wrong. So um, we're just going to zap here. A bit of a late zap. I think it could have prevented a hit there. Um, I was kind of not looking at the screen for a second there, so that's on me. Um, what do we do? You know... I don't really know what this is. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Oh, it might be um, it might be Hog XC. That's not very fun, especially because we're down a lot at the beginning of the game. Um, oh, that is a sight for sore eyes, and I never thought I'd say that because Firecracker is my top five most hated cards in the game. Makes she makes the list, and I'm pretty sure she makes the list for all of you lava players as well watching this. <laughs> so, um, that's a that is a sight for sore eyes though, because the Firecracker is better for us than the Executioner is. That's for damn sure. So, um, we're gonna go. We don't really need to respond to Valkyrie that's going to get two hits, especially when it's on the healthy tower. And this is where the guards come in healthy. Or What the? Why did I say healthy? Okay, I'm just tripping. Sorry. This is where the guards come in handy because, as you could see, if we had a tombstone there... He would have just he pre-logged, so he the tombstone would have killed would have been killed by the log. So really, that's just embarrassing. Um, I let him get this Tesla down. Oh my gosh! But I guess since we took no damage from the hog, it's not really a big deal that we didn't do that much damage, and we actually ended up doing quite a bit. But yeah, that would have been embarrassing if we got pre-logged um, <laughs> and put on a TikTok clip. But we're gonna activate King Tower. That's what the guards bring to the table is that you can make plays like that. Didn't this Valkyrie stop getting hits like that? That's scuffed, man. But yeah, I mean, the guards provide such a nice boost versus certain decks, especially Hog Rider, I think, when they have EQ, because if we're going to be honest, like, Hog EQ, Tombstone really never gets value, in my opinion. It just really doesn't. So the guards always being able to use the guards and them not dying, like, in, he'd have to, like, log EQ the guards, which is really, really expensive. It's nice having like a second troop you can use to kill hogs. Like, um, cause I think if you place them early enough, they only give up one hit. But yeah, so here's the plan. We're, we're a bit low on damage. So I'm just saving my barbarians for his um, hog rider. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna nudge this balloon. So um, he has to um, make sure his Tesla targets the lava instead of the balloon. And we're now gonna go barbs on offense so that we distract this right tower so it doesn't hit my balloon. And also, he has to use the Valkyrie to respond to that. So, what's going to happen here is he has no elixir, and he's not going to be able to defend his left tower. Just like that, and the guards can finish the job, even though the time ran out there. So, pretty good game against Hoggy Q. He did have Valkyrie instead of Mighty Miner, though. So, maybe it's a little bit different. Yo Soy Alvaro. Um, I feel like I've... Okay, I feel like I've faced this guy before, but if you remember, if you're one of the OGs, me facing somebody does not correlate to me knowing what they play. Because I could face this guy and then face him again in 30 minutes and I'd be racking my brain trying to figure out what he's playing. Um, but yeah, I mean, we can just... Uh, hello? Can we not do this, please? Thank you. Um, we got one zappy on the tower, which is... Um, I think that's okay. You know, it's like it's a casualty. Like, what's an accepted casualty limit? Like, I think a Zappy doing like okay, one thousand damage is a bit extreme. Maybe I could have zapped there, but I don't really. I didn't really see um, a necessity there to zap that, especially since we got all that damage back from the barb. Obviously, I didn't know we were gonna get that damage, but it's still fine because uh, I was up in elixir, so I'm able to go in here. Even though he has a pump down, we're still. Um, not down an elixir after his beginning plays. So we're going to use the guards for zappies. He does play the zappies. And now he's going to have to play... Um, oh, I forgot about the goblins. There's just kind of a... Yeah, he's just kind of wasting elixir on, on the guards. Which is a good thing because... For me, if I'm playing Lava Loon, what's scary to me is if I'm trying to go in with a push. And he's um, pressuring me as I'm trying to go in with a push. Now that's what a lot of pump players like to do. And they can do that. But um, the thing is like... If we go in when he's at an elixir deficit to begin with, and then 
um, we're, we're doing simple little plays like the guards, it's going to make him respond to that, even though that might not be his best play. He's going to like um, he anxiously respond to that. And as you can see, he wasted four licks or distracting the guards. So um, here's pretty simple. We're just going to go guards and then we're going to go skeleton dragons. And we should be able to zap as well. Oh, we're going to wait for the wall breakers. And then we're going to zap so the skelly drags kill them. And uh, yeah, beautiful there. So we're not going to lose either tower. And then we can be patient on the mega minion until the zappy is on our tower. So that um, nothing sketchy happens over there with the with the mega minion being stunned and the mother witch staying alive. So um, as you can see here, 34 seconds left. We don't really need to go with another lava because I can just focus on playing good defense. We're going to go barbarians. Uh, I'm gonna yeah split skelly drags here. They're just gonna go to the right lane though because there's more junk in the right lane And so yeah, I think this mega minion will kill the mother witch But as you can see yeah, it was very sketchy there I'm actually gonna save my uh, my my fireball for his wall breakers in case he goes wall breakers I'll just zap that up there. I guess I could have zapped the fisherman that would have been better But let's go like this. So go guards and uh, with skelly drags. I mean, I probably should have gone barbs, but it doesn't matter We stalled out long enough to beat a recruit spam deck because of our smart choices in single Luis Felipe all the all the Mexicans are okay. That's all the Latin American. Okay. All the Latinos are online. I feel like that's worse than... Okay, whatever. We're going to move past this. Um, I don't like to do this, but I'm going to do this. Don't do this. Do not lava in the back first play. I'm just like trying to start the game. Um, Don't do it. But if your opponent doesn't do anything, you can usually start off with something like a Mega Minion. I wouldn't recommend Guards or Barb split, especially at lower ladder. So start off with maybe a Mega Minion. Or zap on his tower just to try and get him to play something. Don't go lava first play. Oh, but here, what we can do, since he's playing Lumberloon, we can tell based on his cards. We're going to do this cool little placement. And what this is going to do is nudge the balloon. You can no longer uh, pull this balloon to King Tower. So he's forced to freeze. I'm not sure if he knows that that's the interaction and that's why he's freezing. But basically, there's nothing he can do here to avoid taking massive damage because the guards plus are uh, the guards are going to protect the mega minion, and the mega minion does like 454 hit, and he's just him. Look at this! Look at this! Oh my god, bro, that is, and that's just like game, like that's actually just game. Like if you guys struggle with lumber loon, a lot of the time that's what people will do at lower ladder. If you go lava, and then you you have to be careful though. Usually that's why I don't I wouldn't go lava first play versus uh, lumber loon um, Usually you only want to go lava when they have their lumberjack out of cycle Because you need to be able to go all in on offense um, So if you go with the lava and they they can start off with a air troop That's really good for you You can try and kill the air troop and then if they go with another air troop or spells or whatever You can just go opposite lane as we did there and uh, it really worked out for us So that was good, but basically that's the big thing is a lot of people will use both their air counters so you can do what I did um, Interesting tornado. I think we should kill this right? Oh, I thought we we're gonna I thought we we're gonna avoid taking another hit Okay, but um, avoid um, Avoid going lava when he does have lumberjack just because it's really hard to deal with the lumberjack you are forced to respond to the Lumberjack because it does so much damage and it's really fast. So basically, you don't want to go Lava until his Lumberjack is out. Same goes with Golem Pump. Um, uh, let's see here. I don't know if we should worry about this. Yeah, you know, we're just going to give him a crown just because. You know, I just kind of feel like being generous. I feel like a nice guy today. Uh, comment down below. One of the random comments will get a $500 donation from me. Okay, you know what? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I don't feel like being that generous. The Ice Golem in the back is actually one of the most scary plays in Clash Royale because you know what's following that. Okay. Whew. Thank God it's the, the mini P.E.K.K.A. because usually it's like 2.6 and you, you know we do not want to face 2.6, bro. That matchup is, is abysmal. I hate 2.6. It is still a Hog Rider deck, but he doesn't have 2.6. Okay. That's the next best thing, isn't it? The freeze spell. Watch the barbarians on the left side, though. They're going to get us uh, quite a bit of our damage back. Okay. Well, I mean, less than I thought they were going to do, but we should be able to get some damage out of these guards and skelly drag, too. Um, yeah, that's not that's, eh, that's not bad. We know what he's playing now. We know what we got to be careful of, and we're only down 500. That's a pretty good start in my books. Um, we're going to go lava here because uh, we just have to worry about the mini P.E.K.K.A. since Hog Rider's out of cycle. 
And I'm actually going to decide not to go barbs there because he does have princess. So we would be able to just princess our barbs um, on the counter push. We're going to barbs instead on this hog, which is a smart play because I don't know. Well, it's kind of more of a dumb play by him. I don't really know why he went with that hog. He's got to feel pretty comfortable dealing with the barbarians, I guess. Um, so we're just going to fireball the princess, make him spend a little bit extra on the barbarians than he'd probably want to. He goes minions. Um, okay, so we can just go guards. Now, he does have mini P.E.K.K.A., but he doesn't have enough elixir for it, so I'm not really worried. He spent all of his elixir there, and even if he does go mini P.E.K.K.A., he doesn't really have a counter push. So, unless he was to go mini P.E.K.K.A., like, freeze, it wouldn't be scary, and he does not have the elixir for that. Um, so this is a good spot. I really like that. We're using the guards on offense there, which is really smart because we realized he didn't have anything for the guards in cycle. So that's why we were able to do that. Now, uh, here we're not going to be aggressive with the balloon. I think um, some people might do that, but I don't think that's a good play because I'm just kind of giving him a counter push. I don't really want to do that. So we're going to Barbarian Zap here, and uh, thank God the, Z the Skeletons died to Zap. I know in a couple times they don't actually die to Zap, which is kind of cringe, but... Um, sometimes if they're hitting at the same time you place the zap down, it won't kill it. And it's like the most infuriating feeling in the world when you have to like fireball one elixir skeletons. <laughs> but okay, we're going to go, um, okay. I think he predicted that. I think those were what those skeletons were, right? He had to be trying to predict that he has freeze, but freeze isn't going to have him take tower here. So I don't really have to worry about it. I'm just going to balloon. I know he has minions, but I'm not too worried because we're going to get a death bomb at least. And we're going to be able to kill um, the minions with the mega minion. And he still has to worry about the... Um, oh, we predicted the hog raider. Nice. He still has to worry about the barbs. But basically, the guards on offense are good. Uh, they're going to cross the bridge. Actually, I think we might be able to finish it here even if he freezes. Oh, he has zap since when? Okay, well... We're going to zap and guards on offense. Kind of carried that game. Something you can't do with Tombstone. So I think we played pretty well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed learning a bit about the deck. And uh, have a great rest of your day, guys.